Hi, hi, it's me, SB. I'm so glad that you're back. So today we are doing another little craft with me thing, um, a sit and craft a while with me. So today I decided I had a bunch of scrap papers that have been accumulating in my area here <laughs> and I wanted to use them up and create sort of a master collage thing. Now I'm not very good at this so you know you're gonna see the master of not being good at things at work today. So I have all my scrap papers here. I have a white piece of cardstock and I've got my scissors. I've got this glue here that I just picked up like a week ago. I haven't used it yet. Uh, the PPA Matte Perfect Paper Adhesive. Apparently it's a, an acrylic adhesive. Hmm. Seems pretty cool. It says it'll bond fabric and paper together, which is neat. Now I have yet to open it, so so it has that protected seal on it. Oh, that was easy. Huh? Just pops right open. Uh, yeah, it says it provides artists and crafters, art quilters, and textile artisans with a lightweight, smooth, consistent ad adhesive for virtually any surface without gripping or leaving residual, residual tackiness when dry. Durable, flexible, and dries to a transparent matte finish. Excellent for gluing or as a finishing coat for a collage. Oh, nice. Decoupage, glazing, and all arts and crafts. Ideally used with a slightly dampened brush. Ooh, I'm going to have to get a slightly dampened brush. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm excited to try that. <laughs> Sorry, my camera, like, freaks out sometimes where it refuses to focus on anything. Like, most cameras will just kind of stop focusing, but mine just keeps going on and on. Like, I don't know. It keeps trying to focus all the time. So anyways, let's get started. I am going to actually go grab a little bit of water. And I have all my brushes here. Very dirty brushes, but I'm gonna grab, grab some water. Okay, so I have a healthy amount of water here. I'm gonna put it over here. Off to the side, yes. I drink a coffee. And these are actually still kind of wet from when I was using them yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I am going to very, very strategically cut these up. And by strategically, I mean just cutting them up at random. And I'm not too worried about, you know, the designs on them. So this one's got letters, so let's try to get some of these letters in there. And cut that off. And more scraps for the scrap pile, right? And of course some of these are going to be trimmed up even further. And yeah, it always, my camera, I don't know, struggles with anything that doesn't have anything on it. See, like this paper. Can't believe that like that. And then this is one of my digitals that I made. I don't know. <laughs> I actually have this one, I do believe, available in my coffee shop. So if you're interested in it, it's just something that I, I threw together for my own personal use. And I decided to offer it for free on my coffee shop, so yeah. I'll, as always, the links to everything are in the description box below. You just hit see more, <laughs> not see more, but hit see more below the video. Oh yeah, and this is some of my handmade paper that I made like, I don't know, three years ago wanted to add that to it. So I'm just going to go through and 
let's see, here's another one. Let's use this one. See, this is a full sheet. I was gonna do something with this and I can't remember. All right, sorry about that. I had to stop and figure out what was going on with my camera because it kept like trying to focus on things that weren't there. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, we're just going along cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there. Now this was printed with my inkjet printer, so it is gonna bleed a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. And if you're interested in this one, um, it I do believe I have it available also for free on my coffee shop. I think I made it available for free. And the ledger paper that you see behind it is actually some ledger paper that I found at a thrift store. And, oh, it's so pretty. I actually still have it. I just uh, copied it and created this background with it. As you can see, uh, I actually have it right here, I do believe. I can show you. Yeah, it was a good find. Like, it was very rare, especially for where I live, to find things like this. You see, here it is, the ledger paper. And it is so, sorry, it is having trouble focusing. It is so, like, aged like when you rip it it just falls apart so yeah that's pretty cool um if you're interested in getting like a digital copy of this i will certainly oh i found some more paper some more digital paper that i made see where <laughs> i i can uh, definitely scan it in again because i don't remember if i even still have the file for it and here's one that actually had writing on it. Pretty cool. I like this one actually because of the lines and stuff on it. And I have yet to copy this one or scan it rather. But yeah, there it is. So we're going to have a lot, a lot of paper to do. Um, I won't bore y'all too much with me cutting. Oop, I cut that. Oh well, that's fine. But yeah, so I hope everybody's day is going great. Uh, for me, today is Friday, so Friday is always a good day. Friday for me, actually, is laundry day. <laughs> it's whenever I do all of my laundry. So I haven't actually started it yet. I, I wanted to get to crafting, so here I am. It's going to be a very weird collage, just a collection of things. No rhyme, no reason. That's usually how I roll. Let's get this one. Most of the things that I do have no reason to it. It's purple. I'm going to leave that. This is cardstock. This is cardstock. Yeah, we don't want cardstock, we want paper. We'll just take a nice chunk of this and then we'll leave those. I'll cut those and then we'll set these aside. So there we go. Set those right there. All right, so now we've got our brush. This is actually my glue brush that I always use for gluing. And it says to use a dampened brush. So let's get started here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Now I'm going to put the more, I guess the more neutral ones towards the bottom. All right, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop these on the corners and that's where I am going to start. And some of these I might rip so that way they're not so harsh. So yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip these. And we're going to leave those straight on the corners. I like that part. But we'll leave it there. Now this is just some, I think, coffee dyed or tea dyed. I don't know. I have to smell it. I think it's tea dyed paper that I had left over. 
That's what we're going to do. Here we go. Don't you just love ripping paper? It's so fun. This one's already ripped. There we go. Perfect. All right, so oof, I'm kind of scared about using this glue. I just feel bad. Oh, it's kind of runny. Okay. Interesting. I've never used this paper. And yeah, it kind of looks like glaze. Oops. All right, let's pop this one here. And let's brush this on there. I'm really, really interested in how this is going to work. All right, there we go. It's going to be great. Let's pop this on there. I'm going to try to line it up, but if it doesn't, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. All right, I need something to smooth this out. I kind of had a plan for this video but kind of not all right here we go this will work just kind of set that there all right let's do this other corner just like that yeah try not to put like a heavy coat of it on there Oh, curl, curl. There we go. Let's get you right in that corner there. There we go. Oh, see, I didn't get all the way there, but that's fine. Not a big deal in this. I quite like that. I think it's... I only got the corners done, I already like it. <laughs> Already getting curly here. Don't go curly on me. Come on. I'm I'm good with this. This looks pretty good. I probably could just leave it like that and be happy. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get to keep me happy, that's for sure. I can see why it says a slightly dampened brush. Because it it is a little bit difficult to spread once you get it on the paper. Because it does, um, it, it, it does have some high adhesion. You know, off the edge a little bit, that's okay. Kind of seems like we got a little bit. A, not that it matters, really. All right. So now we got some, let's leave that there. I just have that there so it'll focus. Now let's add, start adding some other little bits. I don't know, I, I might leave a little bit of a white in there. Hmm, that could look nice. But since we started out with those ripped edges, we gotta rip these. You can't have straight edges. It's just craziness. Not that it matters. And it really doesn't matter, really. There we go. Yeah, let's put that there. I don't like that. Let's do it. Let's grab some more glue here. Yeah, see, it just, I feel like it dries up so fast, and I can't spread it. Now, I could be using a glue stick here, but I thought I wanted to try this. I figured since it said that it didn't leave, like, a residue behind, that's pretty neat. 
do this. There we go. That looks, it's coming together, I think. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe I'll go through and do something with that. I don't know. Let's put another one, maybe like right, right here. I don't know. This one has some writing on it, but I don't know. Let's do one of these, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Ripping up the pages. Okay, I think this piece that I used for this one was like from some digital thing. It was already made. So, yeah. But yeah, if you like it, I think I have it in my Kofi Eye shop for free. It's not... I'm not asking anything for it because some of the images, you know, I'm not real sure about the use. Pop, pop that one right there. That's That looks good. Just smooth. Oh. A white paper is turning into something. Now let's add maybe, let's get these little bits out of the way. Yeah, let's let's just put this one here. We'll leave the straight edge on there. I think that that'll work. I think I had tried to make a a folio out of these pages. That's why they have folds in them. And I was like, yeah, I don't like it. So I took it apart <laughs> and decided, you know what? I can use this for something else. So that's that's why we are here. We are here. There we go. That looks cool. Now let's add... You know, it's a little too much. Unless I add like a strip of it, actually. Let's add a little strip. Let's put it right here. Since that has a straight edge, put it there. I'm just all over the place. How do you guys collage? I don't know. I've seen other people collage on like some of their YouTube videos and stuff. And I'm like, man, they just stuff they do looks really pretty and I'm over here thinking oh why is the stuff that I do not look pretty I don't know <laughs> I think it just looks like a child came and pasted a bunch of stuff and yeah that's that's just what I think I think I'm gonna cut that little piece out I don't like that yeah let's put that right there <clears throat> Like I said, I have no rhyme, no reason. Basically, a lot of the things that I do, I I just do. And there's no training behind it, I guess I should say. I'm I feel like that's how you should do things anyways. This is getting a little bit a little bit sticky here. Let's Let's just put another piece right on top of there. Junk mail comes in handy sometimes. You can use it for gluing. All right, let's add maybe another blank piece of this right in the center, right underneath that. Kind of break up some of the, the monotony here. I'm wondering how much glue I'm going to need to do this. So far, it's been working out pretty good for me. I 
don't know, you ever have those days where you just want something to do to keep your hands busy, but at the same time, like, you don't want to do anything? I've got some little... I don't know. That's kind of how I've been feeling all this week. Just like, I want to do something, but... I don't want to do anything. It's just one of those... One of those things. Let's... Oh, that can be... I wish I still had the one that said it. Here it is. It says imagine, even though I'll probably get cut up, but... Yeah, what happened to the tearing? I'm no longer tearing. I got tired of doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm stuck in one of those, I guess, ruts. I don't know. Where I'm just... Uh-oh, I think I glued it to the page. Oh, no. <laughs> Should put you right here, right there. You're gonna live there forever. Getting some curling here. I don't know. I'm gonna rotate it. Everything's looking too perfect, so let's just add this here. Actually. Probably need another piece of paper. Let's make sure. Pop that there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't want everything to look so straight up and down, you know? So we gotta gotta get it going every which way. Where did I say I was gonna put this right here? Why not? Why not? Hmm. Lamb. Yeah. Mary had a little lamb. Right there, Mr. Lamb. <gasps> I got paint over here and I just knocked some down. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see. This one has a little fold on it, so I am going to cut that one. So it is actually cold here today. It's crazy. Yesterday it was windy. I mean, not very unusual for this area to tell you the truth. We usually are windy all the time. Like I live in the panhandle of Texas. So I mean, it's basically a desert and anytime like the weather is nice, so you kind of took off some of that. Got some gluey. There we go. Anytime the weather is nice, it is windy. Like, you, it's almost guaranteed that we are going to have wind. Ah, stick one of these on there. That's what it needs. But since this is going to be on top, I am going to rip it. So that way it kind of blends in with everything. So yeah, it's nice, it's windy. It's not nice, it's nice and uh, clear. Or not clear, but if it's like raining, it's windy. <laughs> Pretty much any time of the year it is raining or windy. So it's kind of like a lose-lose type thing. I mean, when it's cold, usually there's no wind. 
and we have a little break from it, but like today, it's crazy. It's April, I don't even know what today is. April 19th, I do believe. And it, right now, as I'm filming, filming this, it's in the morning. And it is 35 degrees outside. Yeah. It's quite chilly. Let me find another... I want to add some color to this because it's getting a little, a little boring. Let's just add one of these here. Let's see. Definitely needs... A little color yeah let's put it right there but I'm gonna trim these edges here since it's going on top there we go put it right there just add a little pop of something something <laughs> okay and I'm back I lost some footage there because yeah, my camera stopped recording, but here we are. I'm not really sure how much I lost, but either way, here we are. Still collaging. I was talking to myself for like, I don't know how long. But here we is, and yeah, I think it's coming out pretty nice. I'm quite liking it. We still have some areas here that we can fill in with some of this. Now... Yeah, let's add a little piece of this. I kind of like the yellow here. And we'll just kind of do it right there. So that, yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. <laughs> Ripping and cutting and pasting. Let's get rid of that a little bit. Fun times. I think this is a good activity to do when your brain just needs a kind of a reset, I guess. Just put it right here. Just a little reset. Because I know I get like that sometimes. I do a lot of yarn art, I guess is what you call it. You know, I, I knit, I crochet. Let's see, ah, the handmade paper. Let's add some of this. Maybe in little drips and drabs here because this paper is real, real thin, real fine. Yeah, but it's thick, it's so thick. It's got a lot of texture on it. Let's pop you right there. I'm trying to cover up that little white area. But yes, it is a very, a very thick paper, so it's going to add a little something, something to it. You see how it rips? It's like, I don't know, it's almost like tissue paper, like butt paper. <laughs> Let's see. Where do I want a little bit of something? So yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle these around. I'm not going to really, like right here. Yeah. Just, ooh, it's going to be difficult. There we go. Let's just stick you right there. Kind of cover up some of these white areas. I'm going to press it down. Just so I don't get my fingers all gluey. Maybe we'll stick a big piece. Like right there. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just doing it. Like I said, no rhyme, no reason. Why do we do anything that we do? 
because you like it, right? Oh, I got some on the front of that one. That's okay. It's supposed to dry to a matte finish, so. Hmm. I haven't drank my coffee in a while. Hmm. I kind of like the way it's coming out. I think once it's cut up, like, it's going to look pretty neat. Yeah, we need some more of this. We need a little bit more here. Let's put it right here. Oop, great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I always do that. I'm always dropping stuff like it's unreal. Always, and this always happens. Always. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know sometimes what, what happens. I think it's because I get too excited and I'm like, oh, I want to do it, I want to do it. And then, I don't know, I start dropping things. Or maybe it's another issue. Let's put this right here. Really, I should have waited to the very end to add this because I still have some areas here that I need to cover. And this should have been the last layer, but oh well. It's okay. Let's turn it back to the original position. Actually, I'm going to turn it like this so that way we have some stuff going this way. And... I have this other little one, but this one I am actually gonna, since it's sitting on top, I kind of want to keep that little area there, but I want to have little rips in it. There we go. Yeah, let's put that right there. And once again, I ran out of, I'm just going to use this book page or this, you know, so that way we have a nice area here to glue on. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Sled. Oh. Okay. Now this, hmm. I have a whole lot on it, but it has something that maybe we can we can add. I kind of just like this little kind of stamp thing. So maybe we'll put it there. I'm liking this glue actually. It's actually pretty nice. It looks like like that gloss glaze that you get, that craft gloss glaze. I, I forget what it's called. I've used it before, but it looks like that. I feel like I probably could have just bought some of that and used it, but oh well. You live and you learn. Let's, let's add this. Just to add a little, well that's right there. I don't want to cover that up. Let's put it right here. Because that says void, that says void. We'll have another void there. Hmm. We don't want that there. Okay. Let's... Maybe we'll add... We'll add this here. Add a little piece right in there. But I trimmed that the wrong way. Yeah. Let's add that there. Boop, 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 boop. Glue, glue, glue. Lots of glue. Ah, let's put you right there. Oops. <laughs> All right. We're almost done. It's been quite a long journey to get here. So we got some little white areas to fill in here. Let's maybe add this little pirate dude.
There we go, yeah. Pirate dudes go in there. Should have cut those. Oh well. It's not a big deal. So we're not covering too much of that yellow. But we still have something that's interesting. Okay, now I'm going to start taking some little off strips here. And just putting them in these big areas. Put you there. And rotate it. That one's too thick. Let's put this maybe right here. We got a bunch of little white areas because all, all we're going to do now is just go through and kind of fill in some of these white areas. Let's see, another piece of pipe over here. Glue right on top of that. Okay, I didn't use as much glue as I thought I was going to use, but. Perhaps too much though <laughs> on that one. That's okay. Let's put that one right there. Just gonna fill in some of these holes. Some of these little bits. Yeah. These little strips are always the hardest to, to glue. opinion. Put you right there. See now we can use this because it doesn't really look like anything. It's just like a little strip of paper. Oh I left another one there too. Oh too much, too much. I think that's really coming together now. Oh, look, that's a piece of that. That would actually work out kind of cool. <laughs> Let's pop this right there. It's like a different, it's almost like a mirror image of it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's see. Let's just pop this since it's kind of a similar color. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's add maybe this piece here. I'm going to rip these edges so that way it kind of blends in a little better. Mm -hmm. There we go. Put that there. And yet I still managed to get glue on myself. Yeah, let's put that there. I'm just trying. Come on. Right there. Oh no, it got stuck to me instead of the paper. <laughs> All right. Oops. I think that is pretty good quite happy with that and I still have a lot of paper left over so I could probably use the rest of this to make another one I quite like that so here it is my master board and here's the back of it <laughs> just pure white <clears throat> and 
and I kind of have it going every which way. So, you know, you turn it around, you kind of see some things. Now, some of this, actually, I might go in and add a little extra, like, little strips here and there. Like I said, it's going to be cut up anyways. It's not really going to... Let's put it this way. It's really not going to matter which way goes which because we're cutting it. So if we look at it kind of like that, it looks kind of neat. I kind of like it. Same with this, just depending on what we're going to be making with it, which I, at this point, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to be making with it, which usually is how it goes. I'm just kind of making it to make it because it's something to do. I might put this right here. Yeah, that would look cute. Okay. Yeah, I'm just using up these little bits and bobs here. Let's put you right there. Kind of cover up some of these white areas. I know I said that I'm not real worried about these white areas. I didn't put enough glue on that. There we go. Still doesn't look like I put enough glue. Oh, it's probably because I don't have any on my brush. There we go. And I might give this a one. Oh no! Literally no glue on that one at all. That's so weird. Okay, let me get my brush wet again. I think that's why it's just drying a little too fast. I'm not putting enough down on here. That's why they say to use a damp brush with this. There we go. Maybe. All right, anyways. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and making a mess. I hope this kind of, I don't know, inspires you. I know I'm not that talkative most of the time. Whenever I'm doing stuff, I'm just doing it. But I hope you guys enjoy it anyways. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Or if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, you know, let me know and I'll stop making these videos. Otherwise, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little inspiration to do something I don't know different just go for it so yeah thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye